And let's give the Lord our best clap offering for this morning. I learned how to swim when I was only 11 or 12. I learned in a river, San Mateo, Marikina River. I don't know if you're familiar with that. If you're from Metro Manila, you get all your water resources from that river. So I learned how to swim there. And the question is, is it possible for us to be drowned even though you know how to swim? Yes. Oh, imagine if you experience cramps. According from science, it will take you about probably you will last a month without food. Probably you last days without water. But without air, it will only, what, take you five, six minutes, then you're gone. See, drowning is a very excruciating, painful, and uh, uh, unimaginable death. And nobody here wants to experience drowning. With that, I'd like to uh, uh, invite you to, let's all uh, watch this. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that. And then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Whoa! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, thank you. So Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, 
and all of mankind. Good morning, children. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So it's uh, almost Christmas. It's uh, December. And, uh, you know, Filipinos, we put our Christmas tree on uh, the month of September. So tell the person next to you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This morning, let's talk about unsinkable faith. Now look at the person next to so unsinkable faith. And uh, today is our communion Sunday. We will celebrate that later on. We have our learning to ponder for this morning. Uh, there are three things. Number one, for Noah, in faith, he believed. He stands alone, he stands alert, and he stands available. Number two, in fear, not necessarily the fear that you experience when you see a mumu or a ghost. No, what, uh, what that kind of fear is, the fe that kind of fear is the fear that paralyzed you. But this kind of fear is a fear for God in reverence to God. And using that fear, he built, imagine, an amateur built a boat, a boat. No, he followed the instructions carefully. He firmly preached and faithfully endured 100 years of building this ark and faithfully preached the word. For our takeaways, in favor, Noah was pleasant. No, because why? Because there's safety in the ark. There's peace in the ark. And there's salvation in the ark. Let's start. Let's start with, uh, uh, in faith, he believed. No? Noah is a very interesting person. They say that uh, there's a debate going on that the flood probably is just a local flood that affected the areas where Noah lived. But uh, others say that, no, it's an international flood which it submerged the entire earth. And the scientists said that, oh, it's not possible for you to do that. So we're not, we're not here to debate about that. The thing is, there was a flood. And in faith, and using his unsinkable faith, he believed. Imagine. He believed. He stands alone. In fact, he stands alone. In Filipino, mag-isa. You see, the, the thing is, if you want to eat something that is good, where do you go? You go to places where people line up. Because most probably, that place serves good food, right? In Metro Manila, you go to places where taxi drivers go. Doon masarap yung pagkain. Di ba? So, we don't want to stand alone and decide for ourselves, especially na maiwan tayong mag -isa. In fact, here... In verse 8, no, it says, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Where those days, people were not so holy, living ungodly lives. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. Same to you. Probably you are also a blameless. Oh, mahirap naman yun. Mukha napakabait ni Noah. No, 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 no. Later on in the story, there was, you know, I, the, the challenge is this. Tell me a biblical hero and I'll tell you what he did or what he sinned. No, kasi bakit? The thing is, Noah was right, a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, just like us. This is a perilous time. We are blameless. We are righteous. Not because we are really righteous or blameless. Because we made righteous. We made blameless because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And during his time, people, comparable, compared to Noah, Noah is a, a better choice. No? And Noah walked faithfully with God. You see, the question is, 
will you stand out among the crowd if you will be placed, you know, uh, during the time of Black Friday, there are a lot of uh, people in the mall. Will you stand out, no, among the crowd that you are a righteous, blameless person? In 1 John 2.15, it says, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Because you cannot mix these two things. You must love the Father alone and forget about the world or learn about the world. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. There's a difference, right? You see, let's put a TIP, a tip. Diba? Gusto, gusto natin yan eh. Ano ba ang tip mo sa akin? Ano ba yung tip mo sa karera? Yung mga maladas ko naririnig when I was a kid. Di ba? Anong tip? But here, we have a tip or a theory in practice. No? A practical life application. Noah stands alone. Even though people are doing the normal things. Uh, abnormal things were normalized by these people. But for Noah, decided, he decided, okay, I will stand alone. I will do what God exactly told me to do. In our present days, if you are a student, study hard. Even all your classmates are in the mall. If you're a youth, stay virgin. Wait for your wedding night. Amen? The best, sabi nga nila, the best uh, something that you can wear on your wedding night is your wedding ring. Amen? If you're driving, this morning I was driving so foggy, no? zero visibility, it was very, very hard. And imagine, there were still crazy people driving during those kinds of uh, weather conditions. If you're driving daily, remember this, start with the basic, obey the traffic rules. Even everybody's not obeying. If you're a dad, pay your taxes. I remember when I was a kid, there was only the two of us, Jeffrey and Joan. No? But during the times of paying the taxes, I have other siblings, Janice, Joseph. So, dumadami kami. I don't know with my father kung saan talaga galing yun, kung totoo talaga yung mga batang yun. If you're a mom, do not be marites. You know what is marites? Mare, anong latest? <laughs> do not gossip. Di ba? Alam nyo ba, gossiping now is in Zoom. If you're a yuppie, be a good employee or be a good employer. Start with the basic, even though you are standing alone. Stand for God, stand for truth. Amen? For Noah, what, what is something that we need to learn from Noah? He stands alert. He lives in a very perilous times. Eh, ikaw rin naman, tsaka ako eh. Di ba? Lately, we heard the news about Michigan. Unthinkable. 15-year-old, carrying an assault rifle. No? Killing what, four kids and wounding other kids and a teacher? Unthinkable. This uh, resonates so much and uh, affects us so much because my wife is a high school teacher. <laughs> Imagine, you know, the, somehow, you know, the worry. And without having God in your heart, Talaga naman, worrying will be evident. Good thing, you just entrust everything to God. Amen? Even though, if, even though Noah was living in a very perilous times, he stands alert. Dapat ganun din tayo. We must stand alert. Genesis 6, 11 to 13, Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. Ah, hindi rin naman bago yan. Ganun din ngayon. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all people on earth had corrupted their ways. Government are corrupt. People are corrupt. You know, uh, 
same-sex marriage, um, corruption everywhere. You know, it says here in verse 13, So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So God is not in a good mood. But Noah stands alert. What's our tip? Our TIP, Theurian practice. Be socially alert. Know what is happening around you. Why? Because what is happening or what happened in the past, what is happening now, and what, happened tomorrow, what will happen tomorrow, the next week, and in the future is already written in the Bible so that you can figure it out, no? what is the connection? Why is it that Israel is having problems in terms of peace? Why is it that all the Arab nations are angry with Israel? It's all in the Bible. What is happening now is all connected because Jesus is the Alpha and Omega. Be socially alert. Read the newspaper. Wag puro mobile legends. Do not believe in fake news. Not everything that you see, read, or watch are true. Even though somebody said to you, Oh, you know what, Sister Maureen? Anong ba what happened to Pastor Bert? No, don't believe right away. Go to Pastor Bert and verify it. Because fake news can spark a war, right? Fake news can break a marriage, right? So you need to not believe fake news. You need to stand firm on the gospel truth. You see, Noah is a uh, very... Uh, Interesting person. Why? No. Because he's not even a carpenter. <laughs> but he stands available. No? In, verse 16, uh, in chapter 6, verses 14 to 15, So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Kung ako si Noah, huh? Lord, di ko nga alam kung ano yung cypress wood. Eh. You know, in our house, atin natin lang to, ha? Wala akong, I'm not a, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, a handyman. The person who's fixing the roof, fixing the aircon, or whatever needs to be fixed mechanically, electrically, that would be my wife. <laughs> honestly, honestly. No? She's very good in that. No? I'm not good in carpentry. But, I, I, I just can't imagine if God will call me to do Noah's job. I will be so, probably God would be disappointed at me and I will be so very frustrated because I want to please him, but I can't because I don't know anything. It says here, make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 450 long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. You want to see the, a replica of the ark? Go to Kentucky. There's a replica in Kentucky. No? Uh, there's also restaurants inside. <laughs> it's a commercialized. No? Theory in practice. You see, Noah, sorry, Noah stands available. No? I, 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 remember, I remember Mary when, when he was called by God. Now, the Lord sent an angel to Mary. No, this, is the, this is a Christmas story. No? And Mary answered, Be it unto me, according to your word, Lord, according to your promises, be it unto me. Mary is being assigned to be the mother of God. She was like, what, 15, 16? She was only a teenager. No experience, nothing, nada, no experience about marriage or being with a man. And she will conceive 
immaculately. It says here, See, I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Make yourself available like Mary, like Noah. Let's put it into practice. What is a practical life application? Read your Bible. Because you cannot make yourself available if you are not equipped. Pray. Put your trust in God in anything. Even though you're uh, looking for a parking space, pray for it. As small, as detailed as that, or as huge as asking for a, 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 a healing from cancer. Pray. Pray. Sabi nila, push, di ba? Pray until something happens. Take four. Make sure to be part of a fellowship four times a month. Be here. Learn from God. Have fellowship with your fellow believers. May sisig pa, mamaya. Excited na ako. Bibilis ako na mag-preach eh. Be a worker for God. Last week, we had a great time. We, uh, uh, we appreciated all our workers here in the church and uh, we had fun, right? Uh, they had this uh, certificates with them. They posted it in Facebook. And a lot of people were congratulating them as if they got it from Harvard. So <laughs> but, uh, and, and, and last is that, be it unto me, Lord. Now, challenge the, if God is challenging you, no, give back the challenge to God. Go ahead, Lord. Be it unto me. Although I, don't, I know nothing, Lord, about this and that, be it unto me. You gave it to, to, to inexperienced Mary. You gave it to inexperienced Noah. Be it unto me, Lord. You see, in fear or reverence, he built. So now, this is, this is, this is, you see, this is faith. Okay, I believe you, God. I will stand alone. I will stand alert. I, I'm, I'm making myself available. But these are all faith. You see, Faith without action is nothing. It's dead. It's nada. Now, after uh, he, he agreed with God, it's time to, you know, to, to do the first step. Noah is doing something, putting the faith into action. Now, he started building the ark. First, he followed the instructions. Ayan na. Isa pa yan. Isa sa mahirap ako dyan eh. No? Following instructions. You see, when I, uh, uh, my, my, my daughter gave me an early Christmas gift, a phone, no? And uh, whenever I, I, I have a new phone, I just put the uh, manual in the cabinet. Never I will read that. <laughs> Until masira yung phone. Right? But the thing is, you need to follow instructions. And for us, it's just like us. This is the manual for life. We don't read this. We put this inside the cabinet. Pag nasira tayo, and then nasa may manual. Right? The problem is you're not used to it. And then sabi mo, anyway, Lord, whatever it is, Lord, bahala na si Batman. Sabi mo sa akin, ano yung word mo for today? And I will do it with all my heart. No, titingin ka ngayon sa langit, tuturo ka. Pagturo mo, and Judas hung himself. <laughs> yeah, please, 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 be very, very into the Word. The next time you, you're afraid to try something new, just remember, amateurs built the ark. Noah and his family, professionals, built the Titanic. Remember Titanic. Remember that movie? It was a three-hour long movie shown in 1996 or 1997. Remember Jack and Rose? But one thing that I, I, I always remember is the, is, the, uh, is the sentence or the, the, the phrases. No? What, what the... I don't know who's that guy, but there was this guy uttered something like this. Even God cannot sing this. <laughs> this is unsinkable, Right? Pero icebergs lang, patay. <laughs> Di ba? So, amateurs built the ark, but professionals 
built the Titanic. You see, even though if you're, you are a professional, without God, you're nothing. Even though you are an amateur, but when, you're, when, when God is with you, you will be like David. You will be a giant slayer. Amen? In fear, he followed instructions. No? He, he carefully followed instructions. No? He, he, uh, how, how to build the ark, how to gather the animals. No? Whew, what an engineering, management, and logistics nightmare. I don't know with you, uh, just uh, managing, supervising I, uh, a simple family retreat is very, very difficult. It's just a retreat. Now remember, Sister Gurley, we used to have this uh, combina- uh, merge, merge retreat with La Filnas and New Hope Nas. No, I was the camp director. It was like, what, four years ago? It was very, very hard. No? And imagine the, 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 the adventure no, of Noah. But he carefully followed the instructions of God. This is from collecting all the woods, specific woods, the, 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 the length, the width, no? the, the, the kind of animals that needs to be uh, uh, brought in. So it was very hard. You see, in verse 2 it says, Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate. Instruction pala, nalito na ako eh. Right? You see, ano yung tip natin? Theory in, fra- in practice. No, our practical life application. Your inexperience will be used by God. Noah was inexperienced. It was used by God. Because one good thing, for a person who is inexperienced, you are like an empty vessel. There's a lot of room to be filled up. Right? But if you are already an experienced, like David, he, 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 he was an experienced shepherd boy. That's why when he became the shepherd of the entire Israel, he's very effective. During his time, and during the time of Solomon, it was called what? The golden years of Israel. There was peace, prosperity, and everything is good and nice during their time. And your inexperience and all your experiences in life will be used by God. No? Just like what he did to Noah. In, f- in fear, no? not the fear that we're, we're like uh, when you're uh, watching uh, Train to Busan or na- uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, not that kind of fear because that kind of fear will paralyze you. But what we're talking about the, the, the kind of fear here is their reverence to God. No? Using this reverence to God, he revered God so much, that's why he built the ark. In 2 Peter 2 verse 5, it says here, If he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, he's talking about during the time of Noah, now Peter wrote, but protected Noah. Who's Noah? a preacher of righteousness, and seven others. Who are the seven others? His wife, three of his children, and three of his daughters-in-law. He was a preacher of righteousness. Why? No, he firmly preached. For what? Many, many years while building the ark. You see, what would be our Keep here or theory in practice. Before the pandemic, we were the first no, one, the first church here, not just here in uh, multi, the multi congregational uh, churches here in uh, LA first, but probably one of the churches in the entire LA, probably one of the churches in the entire US. No, we were the first one to lock down. Why? To protect our flock. No, because two more Sundays, churches are still open. But the board met, and then we decided, let's lock down. 
Kaya may nakapaskel na kami dyan. No? Other church were, were like asking, why did you close down? And two weeks after, everybody was closed. Why? Because we were talking about the safety of our flock. But, it doesn't mean that we are being paralyzed by fear. Because during the pandemic, we never stopped preaching. In Zoom, uh, in uh, Facebook, in YouTube, our people still met. In fact, during the pandemic, our numbers grew. Amen? And last November 1, 2020, last year, we were the first one to reopen. Because everybody else are afraid to reopen. From November 1 until now, we never closed the church. No? This is to put the balance no? on fear. We're here. We have no fear because we believe in God, but we're not reckless. Amen? Until now, other churches, they don't wear masks. You see? You still wear your mask. Right? Until now, uh, for, for now, a lot of churches, they don't use the gun temperature anymore. We still use the gun temperature. Right? Why? Because we believe in the balance of, you know, fear is normal, but we must put our trust to God. We need, we, we need to put our faith in God. At the same time, we need not to be reckless. Amen? So, we need to understand that uh, uh, during this time of troubles, chaotic times, it's the same thing with the time of Noah. You need to assess the situation. And most of the time, if you use your own wisdom assessing the situation, you'll be like IATF. <laughs> I mean, lockdown here, lockdown there. Imagine, I can't imagine, no? I'm not uh, uh, trying to be political here. You lock down people in an urban poor area without money, without food, and not giving them food. It's like telling them, go on suicide, right? What we did as a church is what? We put two community pantries in Montalban Rizal and in San Juan, Metro Manila, right? Because we believe in the balance of, yes, let's be fearful, but we also need to be not reckless and exercise our own faith. Just like what uh, 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 Noah did during his time. No? He preached. He preached the gospel for what? Almost 100 years or 100 years? Imagine while you're doing the ark, talk, 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 you're so clueless, but you're, good. you're an amateur. You're not used to that. So you're very, you're very busy every day, and then you still have time preaching the word. Please, after the ark, is uh, built, please come with us. We have enough rooms for you. But the people were like, seriously, it never rained for how many years? We're in what? We're so far away from the, the nearest uh, uh, ocean. And you're preaching for us to go to the ark because you believe that there is salvation in the ark. That's crazy. What's our practical life application? Obey God. Even sometimes, it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense if you're Noah, building an ark, you're an amateur? While building an ark, you're preaching. Does it make sense? Building an ark in an almost desert, desert area. Building an ark which is, you know, far away from the nearest ocean. Building an ark while people are mocking you. Right? It doesn't make sense, Lord. It doesn't make sense, Lord, that why we need to lock down so early. And the Lord said, protect your flock. And we did. You see, here's the thing. Here in our church, we don't operate dal trip ko lang. We operate because the Lord told us to move. Amen? We operate because of the Holy Spirit whispering in us as we pray, as we are being led by the Holy Spirit, Let's do and move forward. 
It doesn't make sense, Lord, why we need to reopen. Others are still closed. Reopen the church. I'll protect you. It's true. We were protected. Do you know that there are other churches who were closed down many times because there was an art outbreak of COVID-19? But since we reopened last November 1st, we never had an outbreak. There were people who were contracted with COVID-19. In fact, two, were, two, of my, two of my daughters had COVID-19. But they were still here. Now, they rested for two weeks. They were healed by God. There were other people who can raise their hands probably and will probably after 10 years will testify that, hey, I got COVID-19. I was never afraid. I was still there. Amen? Obey God. Even sometimes it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, Lord. Why am I going to treat my office mates, buy him Bible, you know, pick him up, drop him up? Buy him coffee, share the gospel. It doesn't make sense, Lord. Wala nang pagbabago yan, Lord. Papunta na talaga yung imperno yan. Biyag yung imperno na yan. Ba't ko papagtsatsagaan yan? It doesn't make sense, Lord. But you know what? That was me before. If my discipler no, didn't uh, obey God, probably I'm still uh, a lost soul until now. What are our takeaways for this morning. So, sabi nga nila ang Pinoy. Na biktima ako. Mag-ingat kayo. <laughs> Hindi sa akin 'yun eh. Dinala ko lang eh. <laughs> Ngayon nagpapaliwanag lahat ng tao eh, no? Na ang Pinoy kasi, pagkakain masarap pang mag-uwi. Actually, we encourage that kasi sayang yung food. Mara, mamaya maraming ako, magbalot kayo. Mag-ingat na kayo sa tech team. Pag nako na kayo ng picture, nasa meme na kayo. Anyway, no, we ha- let's have our Pinoy take out about the story of Noah. No? What are our takeaways? Number one, uh, you know, our takeaway is that in favor, Noah was blessed. Amen? Because he obeyed. There is blessings in obedience. There's safety in the ark. What do you mean by there's safety in the ark? In Genesis 7, 17 to 24, the flood continued for 40 days on the earth. Imagine, 40 long days raining hard. The water increased and lifted up the ark so that it rose above the earth. I know what is about... When, when, when you talk about flood, when you talk about storm, when I came here, sabi ng office mate ko, Hey, you brought your umbrella with you? I, I, I heard there's a storm. Oh, really? There's a storm. Natakot naman ako. Kasi storm daw eh. Paglabas ko, drizzle. Sabi ko, you don't know what is a storm. <laughs> Where I came from, when you see a storm, that, it's really a storm. No? I mean, 2009, I don't know if you remember Ondoy ba? Ondoy ba yun? Si Ondoy o Yolanda? I don't know, I forgot eh. Pero grabe yun, 2009. Bakit? Wipe out yung bahay namin eh. My parents slept for two nights sa ibabaw ng bubong. So, I know what is flood. When I was 14 years old, I crossed the river no, just to save my dog. I know what is flood. Now, the flood continued for 40 days on the earth. The water increased and lifted up the, earth, the ark so that it rose above the earth. People Animals will all start to look for safety. Imagine during the 1984 flood no, in San Mateo Rizal, we had a house there. I, I remember getting my dog, uh, getting our electric fan, no, in, putting them in one place, and there was like ducks, chickens, snake, frog, all of us in that safe area. Bati-bati muna kami during that time. <laughs> Why? Is it because we all need safety, right? The water surged and increased greatly on the earth and the ark floated on the surface of the water. The mountains were covered. Imagine mountains covered as the water surged above them more than 20 feet. Every creature perished. Patay lahat. 
those that crawl on the earth, birds, livestock, wildlife, and those that swarm on the earth, as well as all mankind. Patay. He wiped out every living thing, every living thing that was on the face of the earth. He wiped them all out from mankind to livestock to creatures that crawl to the birds of the sky and they were wiped off the earth and only Noah was left and those that were with him in the ark why because there was safety in the ark and the water surged on the earth 150 days Atagalian, that's the number of days we celebrate Christmas, 150 days. You see, there's safety in the ark, there's peace in the ark, and there's salvation in the ark. Now, what do we mean by this? As it was in the days of Noah, Matthew 24, 37 to 39, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Sa Tagalog, kagaya ng panahon ni Noah, ay katulad din ng panahon natin ngayon kung saan padating ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, brutal fight, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day Noah entered the ark, it's a business as usual day. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. People are sinning. People are doing their own selfish thing. And that is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. You know what? Ang sabi ng Biblia, darating siya na parang isang magnanakaw sa madaling araw. Bakit? Kailan ba nag-text sa inyo magnanakaw? Ay, kukunin ko mamayang bike mo, ha? The question for this morning is that, if there's safety, if there's peace, if there's salvation in the ark, are you in the ark? Who is our ark? In Ephesians 2, 8, 9, by grace. Oh, thank you, Lord. By grace. Buti na lang may grace. You have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. Hindi dahil sa magaling ka, guwapo ka, mabait ka. It is the gift of God. By grace, Noah... No, he was a sinner. But by grace, he was saved by God. Not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Para kahit sino man ay hindi pwedeng magyabang. You see, let us be reminded that no one can save you today. You need to trust Jesus. Paano po, Pastor? Kasi sa totoo lang, gusto ko naman talaga umayang sa buhay ko. Gusto kong okay kami na makasawa ko. Gusto kong okay kami ng mga anak ko, maayos ang buhay namin, magandang relasyon namin. Gusto kong makilala ang Panginoon. At darating ang panahon, gusto kong makasama ang Panginoon. Ay, by simple lang. No? Sabi dito, Sorry, mabagal mag-react yung ating... Ano. <laughs> Sorry, pakiayos. Ayan, thank you. Admit you're a sinner. Be willing to turn from sin 180 degrees. When you say 180 degrees, degrees this is point A, this is point B. Okay, this is 180. So, this is sin, by sin, then turn your back. This is 360. When you do 360, bumalik ka lang doon. Hello, sin again. <laughs> Di ba? Ibig sabihin, ang ibig sabihin ng repentance is not just about crying. It's not, it is, it is not just about emotions. It's about willingness not to sin again. Believe that Jesus died for you, buried and rose from the dead. Because without the resurrection of Jesus, Christianity will mean nothing. Amen? Because He is the only God 
If we will compare it to other gods, other gods are now all dead. But Jesus is the beginning and the end. Invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. Will you pray with me? Amen. Let's all bow our heads. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that beautiful story about Noah. Thank you, Lord, for, for teaching us that there is safety in you. There is peace in you. And there is salvation in you, just like in the ark during the time of Noah. Jesus, save us, Lord God. Lord, I declare today that I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus shed his precious blood and died for my sins. And I'm willing, Lord God, to turn from my sins. And now I invite you to come into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior.